Kelva here and today I'm going to show you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game for Honor on your PC. I have a few possible workarounds for this issue, so let's get started. Number 1. Change the video settings. Just go to the in-game options and in video settings change everything to low, all the graphics to low, resolution to low and it's up to you whether you change vsync to off or on. Try running the game in vsync off and on, on both and which works better for you keep running in that so just lower the graphics and surely lag will be reduced and performance will be increased but if you are a user who are running who is running a high-end PC and wants to run game in high graphics try the other five workarounds those are number two download a game booster a game booster is a software which puts maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game and the game booster I recommend you is Razer Cortex Game Booster. So just type on Google download Razer Cortex Game Booster and click on the first link from razorzone.com slash cortex slash boost. Now click on download. Download is has started. I'm cancelling it because I've already downloaded it and its installation is very easy. You just have to install this and after you have installed it go to your power options and you will see a Razer Cortex power plan so just toggle it to on and before running any game just run your Razer Cortex game power plan and play the game in that plan but for an additional and advanced setup of Razer Cortex game booster I have made a video in which if you are a pure gamer and like advanced settings for game boosters to further increase your performance then you can watch my video the link of that video will be on in description and will also be shown as an annotation on this video now number three change priority to high so now I'm going to show you how to change priority of anything to high you have to do the same with sniper elite 4 so for example in my task manager once you have to do this once you have run sniper elite 4 and it's in your processes you play sniper elite 4 minimize it and look for it in the process for example if I have to change the priority of the notepad to high, I will right click on it and go to its details and here also I will right click on notepad and set its priority to high. You have to do the same with sniper 4.exe file. Number 4. Delete temporary files. Deleting temporary files is also a short term measure to reduce lag. So just go to your run command box and type temp temp and delete all the files present here. Don't worry, there is no harm in deleting these files, these all are junk files. And skip the files which are not being deleted. Then again go to run. This time type percentage sign PMP temp and again percentage sign and press enter. And delete all the files present here also. These are also junk files. And skip. After that, go to your PC. And in local disk C, in Windows, go to prefetch and continue. Delete all the files present in this folder also as these are also junk files. Never worry to delete all the files in these three folder. All are junk files and skip all the files which are not being deleted. Now again, fourth step is completed now fifth is updating your driver updating your driver is one of the most important step for running high-end games as high-end games require latest update drivers so you have to update your drivers regularly you just have to go to windows update and check for updates and if there are any available updates for your drivers number six reduce startup files yeah it is one of the most important step because the more the background apps are there the less the performance of your game so we can manually go to task manager and in our processes you can see background processes in background processes you can eliminate all the processes which are not being used and are taking RAM for example Cortana you don't need Cortana while playing game and task films and TV you don't need films and TV while playing game and task so you have to search for all the background processes which are not being used and close them and you can change you can disable them from startup so they only works they are only open if and if you are wanting to run them for example you can see 
Wonder Share Studio Windows Defender is enabled for my startup but rest all the files which I don't need all the applications which I don't need on startup I have disabled them so they are not running in background and my game has maximum performance so thanks for watching this video that's it if this works for you please hit the like button below for any further queries type in the comment section and also watch my other videos related to other games problems and other PC fixes thank you and have a nice day and also don't forget to subscribe